up the back, we are just walking finally onto the show floor of our literally tens of thousands of Disney fans, not just from around the country, but around the world. I've already met people in the last few days. Travel from Finland, from Japan, from Norway, from China, just to be here for D23. The fact that it's in Disneyland's backyard is not the worst thing either. I almost don't know where to go first. Let's just go end to end. Let's just take our way down. Something new this year. We have the center stage with live music. animation, the Pixar and Disney animation. What I love about this expo, which I've loved since the very first, is that it not just encompasses all of the uh, the major components of Disney, including Star Wars and Marvel, but that they allow and invite us, who are fans, not only to attend as exhibitors, isn't that going to be eventually somewhere we go? Eventually. eventually. So for all my friends who are watching in the UK, we're coming. <laughs> maybe I'll even tell, maybe I'll even announce it. When whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, Sorry, we can't. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. Go ahead, get on in there. No, no, no. Because I won't, she won't let me back out. That's very correct. So, this was almost my <laughs> cosplay costume. Because it's the only one that would be a book. Don't show actually what I look like. <laughs> from here up, you know. Um, I love this movie. I know. I almost got the big inflatable. Okay, somebody actually actually suggested that we get those sumo wrestler things and like, what, like once a year for charity, what that's, do you think? That's how we're going to um, resolve people. some of our differences. Yes, our issues. Right. Our, our Maybe we should, we'll do pay per view. Pay per view for charity. <laughs> for, we'll do pay per view for Big Wish. Okay, uh, that, that's okay. Wow. We haven't even been down here, even as we were setting up on the floor. Yeah, I took a quick peek this morning, but I, uh, but I haven't walked into any 
know our reactions are going to be completely yeah. genuine. We have, I okay. mean, how can we not go here? This, this has interesting It's a uh, Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> Have you seen Cars 3 yet? No, I have not seen Cars 3. How are you doing? How are you doing? I love, like, oh, like this guy, I like my share of warm hugs as well. Big Hero 6 is on the list too. Top, top 10. 
I like that one. I like that car. Bad. Like, not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good for those of you who run DMC fans. Which is what's the, what is that officially? I don't want to call it the wrong thing. Five hundred first legion, the official, uh, the approved costuming organization. Of Lucas okay, it's a costuming organization. It's not cosplay; <laughs> it's a costuming brand. And you guys do all kinds of amazing charity work and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. And you have very strict standards as to how you have to build your costumes. You had the stormtrooper helmet here last time. I didn't did. You? He bought something better than the helmet this time. What do we get back? He's oh oh my god. The kids like to say Irma I'm gonna... There's no doubt about it. So I think the perspective they've got is... box this is something really cool because you guys probably saw all over social media they did an event and they did put posts about the model and the things that are out there Lou and I have not seen this so you're really going to see our first reactions to the land that they kind of announced last night so watch his face he's gonna turn into a six-year-old child as you all know because this is Star Wars and they're telling us what they're gonna build finally So, nine-year-old Lou Mangiello is just... I said six. I, I said six. <laughs> I remember my dad buying me my first you hammerhead know. figure, which really? I still have in the original packaging. Kids college ball. <laughs>
reminds me a lot of when we walked in a couple of years ago and saw the one from Pandora. So we're gonna, and how that turned out after we saw the model. So seeing this after viewing what Pandora was and what it came to life as, this is awesome. And what I like about it is you can sort of get a chance and what you do with the box board is bring them down a little bit so they get a, we like to loom on jello height, so they get a persona laugh when you say that. So they, because the, the reason why I'm at the build is so they can get an idea. This is a Walt thing. He built the Pirates of the Caribbean model high, so he can get a perception of what it would look like as guests were going through. The sheer scale of this is monu. So this dwarfs what Pandora was. Right. Maybe a tenth of the size, because it was only one section last year. Okay, so is this the one that is supposed to be in the world? Well, that's the question I have for you. Yeah. Hey, guys. How are you doing, Scott? Good question for you. Uh, so, I don't know if I can answer any questions about press. Okay. Uh, about my PR folks. Okay. So, so I'm live broadcasting. Is there anybody that can ask questions? You know what? Let me connect you with someone from our communications okay. team. Thank you. Follow me. Uh, you show them the model? Let's The point of sale model is so roughly 14 acres, our largest single expansion that we've contemplated as a land. Disney World will be largely the same. Um, there's just some site specific issues that cause us the circulation path to be slightly different. Okay, so that's interesting. I'm saying it's the Disneyland though, because that's not a really huge space though. I think actually more is going to have more real estate. So looking at this footprint, we are in the, we are in the, on this planet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're looking at a dense forested area just outside of uh, the ancient trading port. We down to that area. You see some recognizable ships here. Uh, the ships are being staged by the resistance. Uh, the resistance has no awareness that the first order has just touched down. Yeah. About to send a recon team out to find out what's going on. That'll be the stepping off point for our first major attraction, kind of like the first major um, And you'll be involved in that now. Um, as you push into the village, you'll find all the kinds of people that you want to see in a spaceport all the thieves and villains and bounty hunters and pilots, all, all the great folks that make up a great spaceport. Um, there's three, three docking bays over there. The largest docking bay, you'll see a recognizable Carillion crater. Okay. Uh, that Carillion crater is very famous <laughs> okay. in the galaxy. Uh, that, is the, that is the stepping off point for our second major attraction, our second anchor attraction. We'll just get to pilot, navigate, and gun. I don't know if I'm running off. Sorry. That you hope there's like a cave or something over here? Is that the resistance has a habit of finding ancient civilization <laughs> places that they can dig into and hide out in? <laughs> <laughs> so they're making note of that cave back there. Excited and thank you so much for your time to be with Chris Bates Beatty, Executive Vice President of promotion. I love that. I didn't get <laughs> no, I didn't know. Well, look, look, based on what we were seeing behind us, um, somebody is getting a promotion somewhere. <laughs> the 
And if you saw on social media this morning the model uh, being revealed, but it is something completely different to see it in person. The model that's here um, at D23 Expo, is this representative of Disneyland, Disney World, a combination of both of those? Uh, both parks, both experiences would be like that. Yeah, it is amazing, right? Amazing. So this is my first time getting close up to it. So my reactions are, I said before, this is nine-year-old Lou Mangiello who was Star Wars in 77 coming out. Because look, this is what we always dreamed about, right? As kids, I know a lot older than you, as kids, we dreamed of being able to be transported to that land somewhere. So that's what we used to do. I mean, this morning you would run down to the back and back. Yeah. No. I still have my original ah, 12 action I figures. wish I still had mine. Yeah. I played with my brothers and I kept my own very, very smart. So the first thing I noticed was even beyond what was behind us was this portal that Jesse would have walked through. That transformer experience is going to take. Where will we step through there? Where are we going to be taken? We're going to be taken to a brand new planet. A planet that's on the edge of wild space. We've never seen it before. Right? It's exciting because you know when we sit down, we start thinking about where we want to take our guests, what adventure, uh, what you know, we start looking through like, you know, when we go to Tatooine or we go to a story, a kind of story that we have already been told. Kind of said, you know what? It's not about recreating living someone else's story. It's about making your own story. This planet on the edge of wild space, you're the adventure. You're the road like you know, your mercenary. You're the you can be anyone you want to be, and that's what's exciting. That's what's going to be um, really, I think, transformative about this experience. So it reminds me of Pandora. When we step onto Pandora, yes. we are an explorer. The people who are there are not cast members. They are people who live or who've been transplanted and to these Pandora. Have been here for age, you know, for hundreds of years. Right? And we're going to meet. We're going to meet aliens. We're going to meet robots. We're going to meet a wide variety of characters as well. Absolutely. So it wouldn't be Star Wars without the casting characters, right? The droids, the aliens, the smugglers, the bounty hunters. That's what makes Star Wars Star Wars. So if you could briefly sort of take us through the, the setting of the model and what these areas represent. Absolutely. So what you're seeing here, this is our outpost, our village. It's like I said, it's a small village. Um, it's always it's been here, you know, it's sort of um, hidden in the galaxy. The smugglers like Han Solo and Lando, they would know about this place, right? But the average person in the galaxy might never heard of it. Um, which is great because it makes us for that great hive of you know scum and villainy. So here's this, you know, this is our outpost, uh, lots of great shopping and dining here. You can see in the far back, kind of a peak, uh, it's a very familiar ship. Um, the Millennium Falcon's docked here in one of our hangar bays. That's the entrance to one of our two signature attractions. So we're going up with just one, the two signature attractions in this, uh, for this land. We get to actually fly or be part of an experience inside the Millennium Falcon. Isn't that what you always wanted to do, right? Yes. Yeah, on the that cockpit, sit down in the 40 seat, years I've been waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're going to let you guys finally do that. And I think it's going to be an amazing, amazing experience. It really lets you be the pilot of the Falcon as you shoot through the galaxy on this amazing adventure. And then finally, as we leave the outskirts of this outpost, um, you can kind of notice off in the woods there, you might see, uh, see some other ships that are very familiar, a couple of X-Wings and A-Wing out there. Um, and this is really um, the beginning of our second signature experience, which puts you right in the middle of that battle between the Resistance and the First Order. Um, it's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. My inner nerd, like my nerd <laughs> potion is up to 11. I'd hug you if I could, but it would be wildly inappropriate. But I'm sure there's a lot of people who are equally excited. You wouldn't be the first person to. <laughs> That's okay. This looks spectacular. Um, and projected opening year 2019. Okay. For both parks? For both parks, actually. Yeah. So, so it's it's not too far away. It takes us a while, and it's worth waiting for. It's every every good thing waiting. is worth waiting for. Absolutely. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Later, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. So, complete. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Complete uh, nerd alert going on here. Um, there's a lot of things I've been excited about. When you see the model, and I don't know if you brought them close to sort of get a, a really good perspective. Um, Bring them down so they can see what it looks like as you go walk
Yeah, so up in the, uh, the back corner of the model there is the uh, Millennium Falcon parked in one of the uh, docking bays there, and that is the jumping off point for one of the two anchor attractions. Um, so that's the attraction that allow you, again, to not just ride the Millennium Falcon, but truly really be in control. We literally, we lost Corey to Star Wars land. Like, we were looking like, Corey's gone. You, are you completely nerding out? No, they, they wanted to see more angles, so they're gonna, they took screenshots and they'll send them for phone backgrounds. And we'll come back. I promise we'll come back and spend some more time in, uh, in Star Wars. I meant to ask them, is it going to be called Star Wars land? I'm so, so the box wants to know if you filled out an application as a walk around Ewok. <laughs> You're supposed to be my friend. Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't ask that. That'd be awesome. Did they see Thor, by the way? Can we show? Can we walk down the Can I show? Sure. Is that your brother? That is awesome. Yeah, brother. Come here. I never had to pay down to talk to anybody, so this is really awesome. Really? Look up there. We're talking to the microphone. What's your name? Thor. Thor. Who's your favorite character? Who are you dressed as? <laughs> what day is today? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got the right. light. Ow, man. Show him, give him the, give him the thing with the hat. We got show him. Nice. Good job. And who's this guy right here? Iron Man. And who's that over there? It's Loki. Loki. You're hanging out with Loki? Yes. Show me your best Iron Man pose. That is very cool. How old are you? Three four and three quarters. Because when you're four, every quarter helps. You're eight and a half, eight and a half, four and three quarters. Got it. Good job. I love it. I think I broke my hand. Alright guys, may the force be with you. Me too, brother. Can I borrow that costume when you guys are done? Bobby, did you see who else is back there? I haven't seen that one before. Ooh, glorious food. Oh, wait. Let's look at this for a second. Is that crap? Oh, you know what? This is what, this is what Becky is freaking out, because she thinks going to eat in Shanghai is going to look like. Lots of raw fish. Oh, crab dish. Crab. I can eat crab. I love food crab. But this hot dish thingy? Somebody who looks sort of like Uncle Flat. Are you sure he's not in there somewhere? <laughs> it's sushi. It's, it's sushi? How cool would that be? Interplanetary sushi. It would be, um, <laughs> and, it's, hi, how are you? It's interesting that they have it. There is no sort of definitive name for this planet. You just sort of, what I like about that you're not going to Tatooine. You're not going to Mustafar. You're not going to Snoqualmie or some far off exotic land. Like it's that. a place we haven't discovered yet. So it allows us to discover a whole new place. Which is incredibly cool. You know what I like too, more than anything, is the way that they have turned the lands to actual immersion where the people living there are from the planet. They're from the location. That's huge. Yes. That place is huge. Yes. I mean, look at the fifth footprint on that. That is going to be amazing. Okay. All right, well, thanks for all your guys' hard work. I know, it's like, wait a minute, we thought we lost you forever. There was a moment there that I thought well, like, we were going to have to unhinge you. All right, there's more to see. Just Josh. Like, always keeping my own people. All right, so more to see. What are you doing? Impressive. Look. Most impressive. So, being 500 first is a little bit of a bias towards this, but... Captain America jacket, which would you vote that I wish should wear? Because right. Black Widow just does not clash with what I'm wearing. All right. I thought you were going to make a beeline directly for Captain America. However, knowing the music, you may totally go... Plus, Captain America's a bad guy. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my own personal preference. Well, I don't know. I think Captain America is pretty cool. Do you want to go with Captain America? Yeah, let's go with Captain America. 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 Captain America.
<laughs> Who says you can't be both? Can I ask you a question about the jackets? Um, we can't fill anything without okay. license or approval. Okay. Do you guys have a business card by any chance? You're more than welcome to take like footage of things. Okay. We just can't answer any questions. Got it. I can also give you our PR reps Look, card, I and can. you can always contact her, and she'll let you know if you're approved. Thank you. Thank you. Zoro nerd, but okay. So I have watched those since I was a kid. Um, so I've seen Crash the Lad. I walked just walking past all the videos of One Nail and the Magic Show. I was not expecting The nice thing about Expo is there's a lot of different places you can spend your money, however it is and wherever, yes. but you need to sort of budget accordingly. Or the other thing gets better. Have you, have you seen this? That's the pretty. You're not going to believe this. What? That key right there, you would think it'd be for something like, what, because of Glendale or something of that nature. That is the line. It's the best <laughs> Oh, probably. It's ladies. No. That is the line to get the wristband. To get into the line for the pin store. Oh. <laughs> I Listen, know. you don't need to do that. Because if you want a pin, chances are they're on eBay already. Yeah. Most likely. Because we saw there were sorcerers here yesterday with bags, and, and they were shipping them at the FedEx pink You see the guy, like, he walks out, and he walks out with bags and bags, and he walks back in, and he walks back out with more bags. So, you gotta pay for but that sorcerer. I know you want those things yeah. that you want to go and do. Come yeah. stop by the booth later. Uh, good seeing you. See you. Bye, guys. <laughs> So the uh, the microphone he's holding is for a different uh, source. So the only the only time you'll hear him from here is from the iPad. People, some people come here specifically for the merchandise. That's, yeah, that's, that's what they well, those collectors can also then buy two and then put one up on eBay, sell it for one hundred fifty dollars, and you pay for your ticket to come in here. So they'll fake it. I was one of those crazy pin people at one time. I don't know about you. I had to like stop myself and get to that point of you know what. I think I have enough pins, but we'll see what happens. Yes. Forget her. Forget her. <laughs> wow. That's... Hey man, how are you? So one of the things I love is everybody expresses <laughs> really? their fandom and their enthusiasm in what? What? Nothing. I just <laughs> they express their fandom. Ignore her. <laughs> <laughs> She's like salacious crumb. Wow. Interesting. I just had an idea. Anyway. So many levels. Come if you're ready. One of the things I love about D23 and D23 Expo specifically is it gives people a chance to express their inner Disney fandom in lots of different ways. Whether it's standing online to get pins or expressing yourself as your favorite or maybe one of your favorite Disney characters. What's your name? And where are you from? I'm from. Okay. And so you are obviously Ariel. Is she your favorite? She's character? not my favorite, but I do love her. I love her singing. So two questions for you. One, can you sing like Ariel? I can sing. Really? Well, three questions now. One A, can you sing right now? Because you asked me to, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, don't look at me. Don't look at them. Hang on. Hi 
Did you? Wait, don't you have a bedazzled mouse fan travel backpack? The girls bedazzled their mouse fan travel backpacks. Yes, they did. That was not me. I did not design that, but it makes them feel good. How about you? Did you actually have a bedazzler? No. Oh, jeez. He has a slight obsession. <laughs> now, look, your hair was right there. I don't know. But I think you're supposed to mix, like, protein powder and stuff like that in here, so I'm not... Oh, now you're... That's the kind of shape that I want. Forget the protein shape. I want a protein shape. That's right. Now we're going to do 15 minutes. Can you give me the high side? We'll make our way into Mickey's or Glendale at some point. Not with, not right now with that line. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Mini. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. That's incredibly cool. I would have killed for that beanbag. And that is the coolest up like founding thing Thank ever. You. Nice. Thank you. So much smarter than carrying a giant thing of balloons around. Learn from the last time. Ah, oh, there you are. I want to lay on that so bad. Look at the big bookie beanbag. See the tables. I know. I'm saying my, my birthday is next week. <laughs> um, can you help me up when I get it? Um, this would be so embarrassing. Just kidding. So, how much is it? $60. Nope, not filled. Honestly, how do I get it home? No, it's not filled. You can buy something at Amazon, Kmart, or whatever. $60. $60. Bucks. That's awesome. Really? Don't break it, man. <laughs> this, is, this is not going to end well. I'm going to apologize now. Oh, yeah. So I, I found where we're doing our breaks at. Everybody 
is out of the box. Like, and it wasn't like you didn't see me trying to get up on the chair, did you? Okay. Because it was, it was a positive experience. I'm back to you, Tracy. So this is Lisa, and I'm going to put you on the spot because I do a live show. Uh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, not really. I'm going to start in the tournament. He's trying to just make it in this Disney world. Um, what, <laughs> what brought you out here? What were you most excited to see out here? thing that you did with Disneyland yesterday? Um, Other than your mint tulip. <laughs> um, I remember weeping. Yeah? Was, weeping just... I was weeping. I was completely unprepared for it. I had no idea. It was like, it was just, you know, okay. <laughs> pirates. It was just very scary. Best attraction that you rode? Uh, Tied between Indiana Jones okay. and um, Pirates. No Mr. Toad love for the attorney? I love Mr. Toad. Um, I appreciate the reference. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was a long, late night setting up. And you know what I totally dug? Pinocchio. It freaked me out. It's a little scary. It scared me. We were in the car together when the whale jumped out. I flew out of my seat. When, you, when, you, when they take you into the really dark scene, spoiler alert, and there's the guy with the grate, you tell your kids, like, that's what happens to you if you steal or get that stuff. That's you. That's you. That's All right, more importantly, last question. What is, uh, two questions. The best thing you ate at Disneyland? There's no wrong answer here. And what is the best thing you've seen so far on the show floor? Um, Other than right here, right now. Okay. <laughs> um, the... See, not, not really. No, I said really. <laughs> um, the Minnie Mouse boat. Uh -huh. And we got them in the last show. That's nice. There's lots of cool stuff. It's huge. Uh, I hope you brought your comfortable shoes because there's a lot to say. So, My Minnie Mouse. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so you guys can come by the booth later on and help us recap some of the things you've seen today. Yes. Awesome. See you guys later. We'll see you later. Yeah. Oh. Oh. something magical, you tell Becky that she can't get in to set up her booth and just make her wait all day long. Did we not have the best time yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Hey, look! Oh, 
What are those? Those are bolts. And there you go. Off the railroad. They are. The best you want me to call them. They are. The Pixar icon. So, I love the fact that vinyl records have come back. Fine. Like, my daughter yeah. actually begged me for a record player, and now it's an easy gift together because she loves having her vinyl records. I actually and had the, somebody say the other day that they bought an old car specifically to get a cassette player. Because cassettes are now coming back. Vinyl was so 60s and 70s. 3D holographic vinyl. I don't know if you can see that. Um, oh my god. So I don't know if it translates well into into live, but it looks like that's awesome. Smells I love bird popcorn. Bird popcorn? I love my popcorn. I love my popcorn burn. I like my toast burn, my bacon burn, my popcorn burn. I have issues. Yeah, that's a hologram. We got that on Oh, look at that one up there. With Pirates, Small World, and Haunted Mansion. That is really Oh, cool. I know exactly what my daughter wants. The Beauty and the Beast vinyl soundtrack for $25. Is that a Tide Man too? It's a Falcon. I like this one better. It's the Tide Man. That one's not as easy to see. and interactive things for people to do other than just going through the booth. You see the mini Honda van? Yeah. You need to You need to get one of those and drive around town. And then we can put my logo on it somewhere. Wrap it. Saying, you know. Wrap the mouse hand. Wrap the mouse hand thing and we can put on one side jewel. How's the uh, video? The Metal Lost video. The Metal Lost video. Thanks, Angie. Okay. She just asked me to go back to our cadence. Yeah. What? You missed that way. Yeah, she did that pretty well. You did it again? Oh, come on. Pirates, archives, and So this is the.
because it is marble. And there's still a whole section over there that we haven't even gotten to. And fortunately, the archives is uh, no film, no Absolutely photography. Beautiful. Thank you for being here. You ready to for this Ozabot challenge? Nice. And hello there, sir. Bring up uh, the, the, for the guys up here, right? What's your name? They got flowers. Why didn't we get flowers? Hey, what a great name that is. I like it. And you're going to turn the key today and win this challenge, I bet. I hope. Nice. All right, I'm going to come around this way to meet these two lovely ladies here. You're like twinsies. What's your name? I think this is my favorite place. Let's just take a pause for a second. Okay. I want to ask you, and you, and you, what acquisition that Disney made are you more excited for? Which one meant the most to you? Was it Marvel or Star Wars? Both of which came out of left field. I never saw it coming. Because I know I was a Star Wars fan at the beginning. But as I've gotten older, I think I'm sort of locked into the, the, the original trilogy. But Marvel and everything that it encompasses, and Spider-Man Homecoming, I laughed, I cried, and then I went to see it again. I would say for Marvel, because I don't think we would have the movies that we have if Disney hadn't done that position, which then has brought it back to life. It's brought the comic back to life. At 11 a.m., we got Marvel Studios Visual Development Supervisor Not Andy Park coming from the event and signing the work at the start. Star Wars is a good one, obviously, but Marvel, again, made it come back to life. We wouldn't have had the excitement that we have over Captain America. We wouldn't have the excitement we have over Marvel. We wouldn't have these stories that we are going to Spider-Man, too. I mean, how it's come back, it's from the comics, not from the old movies. So all of this is coming back from that time period. And without Disney's money and without their backing, we wouldn't have this excitement that we have. And look what happened. <laughs> Image on it. Boom shot. Yeah. 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 No. Thank you so much for getting me the limited edition Bill Slifer from Gravity Falls. That was so nice. What? I'm getting excited. That is here, right? Alex Hirsch, Alex Hirsch is going to be here today, the creator of Gravity Falls. I'm so excited. Which is awesome. Now, look at that. Somebody gave me the old one. Did somebody pass? Did you want to see something? I did. He was awesome. What's the coolest thing that you've seen or done so far? Oh my god, the Black Panther. Right, right there. It's so great. It's so fantastic. Somebody said they had this stuff in Extra Resident Evil somewhere. Yeah, they just gave them all away. It was a Star Lord. Oh, it was incredible. Shut up. Oh, yeah, it was about Wait, that. Wait, what? The Star Lord was released. No, you're lying. Now you're just making so stuff up. I don't, I don't believe you. Yeah, I, we just saw him. Frank, oh, there's Frank. They're over there. Oh, did he see him or maybe? Oh, Dad, that you wish you had this lane. Good so far? Yeah, it's It's crazy, it's overwhelming, it's awesome. I guess that's it. It's a holiday! Shut up! What do you guys think? Five are falling out of my head. This is your first time here. This is your first time here. This is your first time, and it's your first time. What is, so far, it's only been open for like an hour, what's the coolest thing to see? Yeah, the black bear costume. And he's here, you know. Chad is like, he's here here. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he was just having out. Oh, really? They're having tacos. Breakfast burritos. The coolest thing is this? Yeah, yeah. Here. yeah. Really have, you seen, have you seen Star Wars yet? Not yet, we haven't made it that far. Yeah. To be fair, you might, you might actually just see it up 
it's huge. It's huge. The Marvel for Star Wars land is monstrous. Yeah. I'm pumped. I missed the action figure. I know. Yeah, we just missed it. Like, yeah. Maybe we'll do it again. Maybe we'll do one yeah. more. We'll come back. It's your job. Your job is to seek out all the cool Spider-Man stuff. Got it? He's gone. Let's see What we always try to do in Marvel Studios is we're building the cinematic yeah. yeah, It's like the big fish, but it's real How can things relate across movies that cross the years? Like Avengers Infinity is a culmination of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe that is starting right. in May of 2008. We're going to get mobile. And it really is the most precedent culmination of a series of films interleaved together, which at the time had never been done before. And for us, the important thing is making it all come together. We know they're going to face Thanos. We've been setting that up since Avengers 1. How do you do that in a way that is unexpected, that pits the Avengers against somebody who is more powerful than anyone they face, and yet make them completely unprepared to face it? Well, tear them apart, yeah, which is why we did Civil War before the movie. As we were conceiving and, and executing Civil War, the end of that movie was very much a setup for what these movies would be. We always had the sense of that. Tony is not talking to Steve. The Avengers are basically a name with nobody in it. Tony senses his greater threat approaching, and so he is doing everything in his power to keep the Earth safe. I like Thor, not in the creepy kind of Becky way. Thanos shows us why he's the biggest, the best, the baddest villain that we've ever had, and the most frightening villain that the Avengers have ever faced. The most exciting part is the incredible roster of well-developed characters that's going to create a really combustible, exciting, massive scale adventure. You know that we're onto something within the studio. We, we hit upon an idea, or we see a piece of concept art, and all of us in the room go to school. And in Avengers Infinity War, the Avengers will meet the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because of what Marvel is, because of what they have done over the last 10 years, these next two Avengers films will be an event that no one has ever seen in film before. So, look at that. Now that's a hammer. Because we all see what happens in the trailer. What are you more excited for? All right. What are you more excited for? Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, or Avengers Infinity War? That's an impossible choice. No, it is not. It is not an impossible choice. Because no, the answer is Infinity War. Why? Because it's the Avengers. Well, what I and, like. And what's hidden under those... What could possibly be under those drinks? The re reveal on that is going to be insane. I'm kind of nerding out today. No, no, no. So much of. 
So we're live. Can we say hi to you live? Turn that camera around. They're live. I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all this time. I'm gonna get weepy. Not even that door, I'm talking Star Wars and Cosmo. But this is James Cazern. This is James Cazern. He still probably goes by Disney Nut on any sort of social media. He, listen, when I wrote my first trivia book, you were the very first person to ever buy it from my site. I still have that email receipt. That's why I book. And nobody in this room, on this coast, or on this planet knows Disney trivia like this guy. I might have written the book. This guy could write the Bible because he is the best of the best at Disney trivia. Any Disney contest I ever ran, we pretty much knew if James was in, we yeah, had our win. Stop, stop that. I, mean, we pretty, no, I just stopped doing the contest because I couldn't. There was no stump James question. So, it is good to see you guys. You guys excited? Their minds are blown as well. Yeah. If you think it's crazy now, wait till tomorrow. Oh, yeah. That's a good people right there. Very good people. Okay, so. so one of the things they started doing a couple years ago, because every year they continually try and improve the process they see as the crowds get bigger, is they introduce something called stage pass. And now you can get basically one fast pass per day for certain stage pass presentations. And that's what people are lined up for now is to get their stage pass and then queue up for, so there's nothing left for, wow, Cup of Joe is, oh, it's distributed, I can't see that. Stage three, Mouse three, Mouse three, Mouse three. Mouse but it's a great way to make sure you can see that one thing that you really want to see. Tomorrow, this place with the parks and resorts is going to be insane. People are going to line up tonight for parks and resorts tomorrow. Yeah, and I think all that's the ones that people have talked about is when we say, which one are you trying to get into? Some of them said Legends, which is today, right? But the majority have said parks and resorts because that's where we're getting The live stuff from the studios is another one. Uh, tomorrow, we're coming late on today. This is going to be a sea of humanity. Absolutely packed. We're live. Who we said so live real quick? Oh, yes. So I assume that you are the Dapper Dave? Yes. yes. There you go. Dapper Dave. I just came up with that on my own. <laughs> or you just have to run into each other and be wearing yeah. similar yeah. costumes. Oh, yeah. Of course. Did you guys make these? No. We yeah. have a song. We just have like these in my bag. I totally did. You can get anything on Amazon right now. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much anything you need. Fantastic. So here's the question. Yes. Can you sing like the Dapper Dave? No. I don't believe you. Oh my god. It's kind of like if you're going to wear it, you got to kind of do it. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're I'm sorry, that's what I'm getting at. There's like three people. Hold on. I'll get you now. Are you coming on three days? Go. We're going to be here tomorrow. Okay. Are you changing? We're changing. Oh. We should really go. Tomorrow, I'm going to be Eleanor Bath. Shut up. I'm going to be Eleanor Bath. So awkward. Who <laughs> wore it better? I think you might have been here. <laughs> All right. So tomorrow, so we have a booth right there by column A3. You see the giant balloon sculpture there. When you have any costumes tomorrow, come by and say hi. And I'll give you something. A6. 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 What is it? A3. Whatever. A6. 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 Always believe the woman. It's A6. Yes. Thank you. Have a good day. A3, A6, no fine. The kids, what do they know? I love your dipper costume, by the way. Thank you. I mean, I love all your costumes, but I love the dipper. So this is, uh, these are all lines. Okay. Don't forget to use the hashtag D23Expo live. 
D20 Expo and D20 Expo. Anybody have live. like a white Sharpie that we can pick? <laughs> if you do, do my bag. <laughs> there's a chance to win stuff. And by Sweet. stuff means I don't know what it is yet. But we're going we're gonna to win stuff. We'll figure it out. Tomorrow? D20 Expo live. Tomorrow? This. You will not be able to stay. There will be people in every single one of these columns. Well, it's not just here. But it's going to be over there, too. This is going to be the hottest room in the jungle. So tomorrow is, no, Sunday is Sherman and Mankin. No, tomorrow is it Sunday? Tomorrow's Mankin. And then Sunday is Sherman? Yes. Corey's saying yes. But it's amazing to look at this now and to know what it's going to look like tomorrow. In a few hours. And people will wait here for hours. They let them in to do so. I think I'm not sure if they're doing wristbands and they get the wristbands wait. and they come in. Wouldn't it be funny if you just stood like right there and just stood like in the middle, just waiting for tomorrow? <laughs> Let's see how long in the middle. Up. Just stand in the middle. Not like, me. Pick a random spot. I, I think it's good for Corey. I think Corey. That's a good endurance thing for Corey. Put the box. Put the Corey on the box. Hi. Don't trip. All right. So this is Paul. C, D, no, A. A. Call, call A. They move us every year. Last A. year we were in, I know. A on the phone. Just pointing it out. Just giving you the map. Love you. Um, so this is known as. Shut up. Well, that's what my son wants to do. I love, we love gravity falls. We love gravity falls. We love gravity falls. Alex Hirsch is going to be here. Um, this is known as the Collectors Forum slash, I think it's obviously officially the, the Emporium. Emporium. It is the Emporium. This is one of the things that I love, not just because we're here, but the fact that this community of Disney fans is not just about the official Disney brands and partners. They allow us, the fan community, to come and showcase who we are, what we do, what we offer, and there's anything and everything under the sun from collectibles to artwork to the artists themselves are here. Noah is here. We're always by Noah. There's a bro out. because there's a bromance. We actually don't plan that, but I think I think, Noah, I think Noah planned it. I think really? like I really want to. We're he's just want to be next to Lou. I need to be next. I need yeah. to cuddle. He's a good guy. Stuff. Noah's gonna come Noah's by awesome. the booth. Um, we, I, I talked to him offline, um, but there is merchandise, and I don't mean like oh space balls, the movie. I mean anything and everything under the sun. Collectible wise, are you kidding? theme park memorabilia. There are cosplay wigs here this year. Did you see that? An entire booth, all of cosplay. Who wigs. thinks that Becky? No. Who thinks that we? It's mm -hmm. on my dime. We should buy Becky a cosplay wig. You know what? I, Show I, told you, I would do the dress. If they had a dress my size, because they had all. We can dresses. make that happen. Someone take no, note. No, it would have to be one my that. size, and we know that those aren't even made. So. All right. Sorry. You just said you could find anything on Amazon. What? <laughs> Not on that scale. Did you see that? Uh, we'll talk. Like we'll talk when Becky's out here. But I do want to show them okay. our favorite booth, which is Ours? our favorite booth. Now remember, you have to be careful because we don't want to do the reveal. We want to yeah. see the booth. To do the reveal. Oh, so we'll no. show. Uh, right. Yes. So we've done some interesting things over the past ten years. First, we were sort of to get. We were to next to each other, and then we broke down the wall, yeah, that was and then one. we sort of and, came and we've together. Been, we've been here together ever since. But. Think about it though. This the booth is part of my community service, like work release wow. program. The, the booth has gotten larger every year because we've kind of expanded. And Leon's we're getting larger. What movie? What movie? I only quote like the same five movies. Um, the History of the World Part Two. Um, <laughs> um, Space Falls. No. Um, you know what? Blazing Saddles. And Leon's getting larger. First one to get it right gets a. I don't know. I'll send you something. <laughs> anyway. Something. Anyway, so we have done different things in the booth just to set ourselves apart a little bit. And this year, we had a chance to do it airplane? last time. Huh? Airplane? What? Help you? Airplane. Yes! Who got airplane? It's, it's airplane. Uh, Who was it? Luis, Luis Ramos. Luis, Luis Ramos. He's an awesome guy. He and don't call me Shirley? He definitely sends me like delicious looking food pictures every day. Now I'm hungry. Thanks. I'm always hungry. That's my problem. I'm always hungry. Yes. Are you turn around, turn I, green now? I have that shirt. I just turn around and, and turn green. Please, on you. So, so this is where... This just kind of do... So this 
this is where a lot of the money that I'm thinking is going on. This is this is a dangerous in a good way. One thing that I did over here is one of the guys came in this morning said out loud, someone said, So how's it going so far? You got your new setup. The guy said, I'm already almost half sold out because people had come by who were setting up and said, put my name on that. Here's my credit card, put my name on that. So and it's it's don't believe us. Look at all the merchandise. Those guys. It's all about the merch. They're going to the USPS shop in the back and shipping that yeah. stuff. Or just sending it to each other. <laughs> So, uh, you know, all of us have a holy grail, right, of, right. of collectibles that we want. I remember we've got a lot in your collection. So what is still the, the holy grail that we have not received in a collectible that you would really want? So I have to start by acknowledging two people that sent me my two holy grails wow. of collectibles. Okay. Yeah. My King Tut magnetic, oh, I'm going to get all choked up again. Um, the little King Tut magnetic magic trick from uh, the Main Street, the House of Magic. And the little Madame Lafitte perfumery bottle from Liberty Square, like I have never seen another one, and somebody got it and sent it to me. So that was something you wanted. Uh, I wanted it. You mentioned it to somebody. It was a holy grail. Out. There's like, there's no pictures. Right, there's so like. Let me ask you this: Why those two things? Because because it was. Uh, I remember going there, and it was incredibly rare. Um, the magic trick has a personal connection to me. I'm not going to talk about going there with my dad or any of that kind of stuff because I hate him so much and making me cry. Um, and the other thing was I remember the perfumery because you used to actually be able to go create your own scents and they would record it in a book and they would put it in a bottle and they went back and you're like, oh, I want to get something cool for my mom. They would recreate the scent for you and put it in the bottle and I have a little golden bottle from there. And I've never seen another one before, ever. Okay, so since you have it, those two, what would be another thing that if you saw it, you said, no, 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 I need that. What, what would be the thing that you would like to have? I just saw a picture of Lana Perea, so I wanted to say Lana Perea, but I don't think... No, I, I think she, you can't put her in a box and ship her to uh, you. Right. You know, that is dumpy. Temporary yeah. ruler of the realm? No, I have one. Somebody gave me one of those, too. Um, after the show I do with Jim. No, and I have one have no and I have one in a bag. Like it's still sealed. Um, it might be something opening day Disney World, but it doesn't necessarily have a, a personal connection to me. So I have to come back on that. Okay. That's uh, a good question. So I'd love to hear what I like, others think. You know what? I, I like collecting the memories more because that's what's important and they don't take up as much stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll follow uh, when you turn this corner, this yep. is yeah. 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 <laughs> that was my dad. Hey, man, what's going on? How you doing? I know. I you Yeah. We're live. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's amazing. I get up in the morning. I'm not joking. And everyone's 
What's around the corner? And you still, like, at the right old age of 35, you still sort of look and act and emote just like Tinkerbell. Absolutely, because she's me and I'm her. You know, the first time that I stepped out in front of the camera, <clears throat> I said, Mr. Davis, that was so long ago. You're welcome. Did you call people Mr. Davis? And I said, what do you want to be? Do you want to be just see, like uh, Betty Boy? Do you want her to be above it all, like Queen of the Fairies? He said, Margaret, we want her to be you. And I thought, Oh, I can do that. And so that's when we actually, I gave her the third dimension. That's her personality. And she took mine, of course. So, <clears throat> the biggest thing about Tinker, I know I'll be quick, I promise. <laughs> um, so where was I? How she is you and you oh. are her. <clears throat> well, when you're 88, you don't remember a lot of you stuff. You spelled 38 wrong. You spelled 38 wrong. <laughs> but wait a minute, because I know somebody's waiting for one of these. Oh my God. Holy smokes. I'm getting my workout with this. Now, I remember years ago, we talked, and you were still, like, you were just starting to work on this. No, no, no. But this, <laughs> what I mean is, you clearly put a lot of time and there's a lot of love in this book. There's 180. Fun part about my book is it is all short chapters. The, I think the longest one is six pages, and they all have beginning, a middle, and an end. And they're all most all funny things that have happened to me in 84 years of shopping. That is awesome. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to come by here later on. I'm going to buy one. I'm going to have you sign it, and I'm going to give it away. There you go. How's there that? You go. How's yes. that? I know you have people waiting for you. I will come back and see you. You can come by our booth later on too. We're, 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 we're right behind you, right on the side. Of it. Is that true? Is that where they are? I would never lie to Tinkerbell. It's hard you to miss. That makes me feel better. You're so good to see you. It's always a pleasure. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. I will be around. I mean, good to see you. I'll come back later. God bless. Is it good? I love it. Oh, yes, I love it. There's a man in yellow. Okay, we're going to... So, that was what we wanted, we wanted the big reveal. So, is that what we're doing? Let's sort of come around this way. So... In the many years of the booth coming together and growing, and always want to do something a little bit different, right? We've been live broadcasting since the, I remember some of the first day I live. I said it was gonna be live for 15 minutes. We did the pre, we did the setup day for like four hours, and we broadcast all three days live. Then we wanted to always bring something. Else. So we have contests, we have games, we have interviews, we had the lounge, we had the couch, and then a few years ago, uh, I was introduced to somebody who is an amazingly talented artist. Um, you probably would not know his name, you may not have seen his work, because he, he operates in a very unique medium, which is balloons. And he also just happens to be a Disney fan. Now he's a guy who's not just sort of blowing up balloons in his basement. He's done like the White House and I think the Smithsonian. Oh he does amazing work. So for us he has done a giant sorcerer Mickey hat yeah. that, that literally loomed over the entire booth. Right. Our favorite, I think, was the Disney Dream. Dream. It was massive. <laughs> it was 20 feet long, stood on top of the booth. And this year... Wait, before you say that, I just want to give you a teaser. Some of the things he's done, he's made dresses out of balloons. For I tried to get an princess. Iron Man. You tried to get oh. an Iron Man for him? Okay, you can see him doing this. It was awesome. That's sort of how I walk yeah. anyways. And so, I mean, this guy is amazingly talented. And when he came up with the concept, we first kind of went, really? And then we started really thinking about it. And then he did one to test it and sent us pictures. And we went, yes. So we were coming up with different ideas about what we wanted to do. And, you know, right now, some of the really hot things are what we just talked about. It was Marvel yeah. and it's Star Wars. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, courtesy of John Reed, 
I present to you the Adat Walker in balloons at the WWE Radio Mouse Fan Travel Group. So what do you think of um, let's think about it. We blew them up in the tree. Who had who had all the hot air? <laughs> this brought us over right away. Awesome. We, we were looking for you just to come by and just to make sure that we had the right number. That was one of the very first things we spotted. Awesome. We well, back to going <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you so much. We struggled with where do we put them and how do we handle them. And, then, so, and that's not, that's not the more. We're coming back later on to do a live build with something else. Uh, you guys might know, you might not know their voices, but uh, that is Juan Coheen, um, who has been on the show before, and our WWE Cruise to Alaska. That is Brian Blackmore, the second most talented artist at the Disney Design Group, and Dave, who I just met yesterday, Dave Holbrook, who I just met yesterday. More importantly, we're going to see these guys are going to be in the booth today. Later on today, they're going to be in the booth, and we're going to be chatting with them, and maybe they'll even uh, draw a little something for us. I think they have some special plan, and uh, they'll talk about some of the stuff that they're working on here as well. So, what are you so far? Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah. So, come closer. So, they can hear. Hey, everybody. Most talented artist at the Disney Design Group, Ron Cody. <laughs> Show number... Two <laughs> old... Uh, somebody link up the show number that Ron Covey was in. Uh, what's the cool thing that you've seen here? Oh, you. You're I love this guy. <laughs> All right, what's the third coolest thing that you've okay. seen here? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everything is fantastic. The Marvel stuff is fantastic. We just came from a Golden Books presentation, which is awesome. Um, there's, there's just too much. It's overwhelming. It's amazing. Now, you guys are here and not... It's, it's, I mean, your fans first, but you're also going to be here presenting as well, correct? Yeah, uh, we're going to be over at the Dream Store. Okay. Uh, 615 height, 715. Yep. You might want to get those numbers down. You got a picture. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people online waiting for you. Guys. My Fitbit is on Florida time, so I keep getting confused. I have to ask this guy. Okay. I, I have a fat Steve. So that's oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. You know, we're doing this thing. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So you'll be still be. What are you doing? Tell me again. Tell them. Don't tell me. Tell them. Yeah. What we're doing, we did, uh, several of us did posters and other uh, merchandise for the Dream Store. Uh, Ron, you worked on Star Wars. I did the anniversary of Space Mountain, Space Mountain. Epcot, Epcot. Epcot, and our uh, colleague Richard did, did Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates. Each one of them is an anniversary commemorative poster. And we were asked to do that when we were out in Florida, and then we came out here to... And I will, I'll be revealing my Condor Man uh, sketch. <laughs> Come on, the way, Come on the map. Oh yeah, there's a map too. I say that. We have to say thank you for it because you did my favorite drawing of P and I ever, <laughs> ever. Do you use it? Yeah. yeah, it's good. I like the Are you kidding? <laughs> it's the totem pole oh. for Alaska. That was one of the best drawings of, of anything that we've done for an event ever. No, but when, but when. Sometimes we'll be emailing each other about lunch or whatever, and right. five seconds later, Ron will send back a picture, usually of me eating at Sweet Tomatoes or something well, like that. Less than an hour. You have some of those images on there? You might have an image on there. I was going to say, is that sketching from Ron? No, it's sketching. What's that one that He has a picture of tomato, too. Oh, here it is. There you go. Yeah. So, like, can we show it? Like, moments after you. Can we show it? Sure. Yeah, so. I don't know if you can see this. And you know what really drives me up the wall back at the office? But shh, don't, don't say that. You're live on the wet, on, on, on the box. <laughs> Just a gag, you know. And I love fun. the fact that he narrates it in voices. Like, we'll go to lunch, and like Kermit will be at lunch with us. And <laughs> Brian's Kermit. Or, or uh, Marge and Homer Simpson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jumping all over the IP. Yeah. But I can't get over. This is my first time being at Detroit. Detroit as well. Yep. Okay. I just can't get over the amount of people there. Oh, great. this is light tomorrow. coming tomorrow. This is this is the one. This is light. Tomorrow is this going is to light. be a madhouse. That so, whole staging area, yeah, right. the, that will be packed. Forget it for the arena. Now Ron's been here before. 
Oh, it was like four years ago. Yeah. I remember, yeah, you had, you had the boot back then, that was great. We're only shooting from here up, so we have a You guys want to force perspective with me to help me out? If I stand up here and you yeah. guys stand back there, we're like the same It's just like a lawn and mansion. It's the best of Salone angle. But there's one other project that they're debuting here uh, at D23. Ron, well, why don't you go ahead and talk about that? Well, we, all, we all collaborated on this project, and it's basically an Ameri Ameri USA map. And every state has different character representing that state on there. So California has Mickey and Minnie driving in a, in a convertible with surfboards, and Florida has Goofy, and he's all set to go scuba diving and everything. And Donald has a 10-gallon hat. Yeah, for Texas, Brian. Did. So it was really fun. We all worked on this map, and they have it in many different forms and everything. So it, it's, it's a blast. Just take my money. Just, <laughs> just take my money. <laughs> Or the Dream Store, it's all there for you to yeah. do. And speaking of which, the Dream Store, like, acts. that's where people were just literally, like, wanting to get to this morning. So. Oh, the line, they, they've had a huge queue line afterwards. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's, hundreds of people waiting yeah. to get in. And we see people literally taking their bags from there, and they're going to ship them at the USPS thing in the back of the other floor, because <laughs> there's so much good stuff. I just can't get over the amount of people. Yeah. But I really think that's a great idea. Yeah. Totally That's one of the very first things okay. we saw. Two yeah, years ago, where, where were they? <laughs> like, yes. Two years ago, we had about a 25 foot um, model of the Disney Dream. Right. And it was oh, wow. yeah. up above us. And so we had to come up with something that was going to be. Did it show the Mickey on the bow? Show the Mickey on the bow? Yeah, what? The Mickey on the bow. He had, I think he drew little yeah. details on yeah. some of the yeah. final ones. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's actually. That's Don Lee. Oh, yeah, Don Lee's starting, starting to. He's starting. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know it's gold, and it's got some blue in there, too, so we can figure that this out. You never know. You never know what he might be working on. So you'll have to come back. You'll have to come back and see. Well, this is great. We're looking forward to talking to the guests and meeting the other guests, and especially talking on WD Radio. I love these guys. They're like the nicest guys in the world. <laughs> Well, good. I'll let you guys go. There's a lot more to see and do. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, Lou. Thanks, Who's really the most talented out of the three of you? I mean... Oh. <laughs> well, and it, which one? I, you, you usually well, mention it. Yeah. You usually say it's... As soon as they walk away, I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it to yourself. I'll, I'll put it this way. I really enjoy working with these guys. Very talented. You Pretty know, good. That's what I love about you. You are always a team player. Yeah. Cody, not so much. But you're always a team player. <laughs> <laughs> See, it turns on you. That's the bitterness. I know. <laughs> you know I love you. I know. That's why I'm the ship. I said, how really is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's supposed to be a quiet conversation. Oh, that's the time about that. Right now, I have no idea. Thank you. Enjoy. Hello, Lou. Hey, how are you? I'm Rod. I didn't know. I'm so tall. Uh, Keith, that was uh, Ryan Black, uh, Ron Kogi, uh, from the Disney Design Group.
I get the one of them for the biggest kids from the age. They can all fit so on. So, like, for example, this will give us a quick opportunity to introduce some of the team from MEI Mouse and Travel. And this is Melissa. So some of you may have Melissa as your travel planner. We have Emily, who's right over here. So Emily Hartzog. And many of you will recognize her from various costumes, from various marathons, because she is one of the crazy runners that is around. Um, we have Jennifer over here. And many of you will probably have Jennifer Kelm as one of your, because she does a lot of, of the community um, trips as well. So you can come around and Jennifer can actually smile and wave really quickly. So that's Jennifer. Uh, and then we have Dee Dee. It's over in the corner there, which we will... I guess I have you, honey. Good, how are you doing? Good. We're going to have to get in line and spin the wheel real quick. Oh. <laughs> what do you want? I'll give you anything. Pop, 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 pop. We got Starbucks cards. I know, we got cards, we got pop sockets, we got whatever you want. You Excellent. You know, it's Banks. It's Banks Lee. I've got to give him, if he wants pop socket, dang it, he's going to get a pop socket. So, what we're really excited about right now is this little guy, which people are, the infamous prize wheel has returned. And we're giving away Starbucks cards. We're giving away entries for a trip. It's going to be kind of exciting. Um, we also have, yes, you have seen the WDW Radio Pop Sockets. We have the MEI and Mouse Fan Travel Pop Sockets. And do you want to see them? I'm going to bring you in the booth. I'm lucky. Can we sign up for Another one. We have little giveaways too that we have to do, and one of them is <laughs> we have to tell the story about this because it really is funny. Is you and I think that's a screen cleaner. So you put it on your phone. It's a neat thing. You have a phone, and when you get yeah, your cell phone, over, and then you put that on your phone, and then you turn around and you can clean your screen. And then close your eyes. Right. Close your eyes. You're not close your eyes. Close them. <laughs> You're not close. You're a cheater and a liar. Close your eyes. Close them. <laughs> ah! I knew it. I knew something like that was going to happen. How about? Oh, see? Right there. Oh. Would you? Oh. Do it really? All right. <laughs> so anyway, I got these two. And the amazing thing is that no, I, I, went I, like I went up to him and I, and I went, you know, I'm trying to think of what I want to do for a trade show. And I'm thinking about these little things called pop sockets. And he looked at me and he said, um, pop sockets, they were so two weeks ago. So I'm thinking, that was probably the dumbest thing that I just did then. So maybe this is a dumb idea because if he's saying people already have them, why would I spend money on them? And then two weeks later on the box, he shows the WDW radio pop sockets after these had been ordered. So, now we have, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting you talk. Have a story. pen. Have a pen. I will. I'll take one later. So this, that means great minds think alike. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> because we ended up with the exact same item. What are you look doing? At, look at the fairies. What? I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm standing behind you so I don't do anything. Again, I know better. How, how are you? Princess, I would not do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know, sir. I have nothing. Really? You are. I'm really afraid right now. Oh, darn it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyway, more importantly, you showed them this. <laughs> Did you hear the squeal? Are you kidding me? That's why Becky Puppet sounds the way she does. Listen, more importantly, oh, you what? By the way, if you are a member of the nation you're coming tomorrow, please come to the booth. And then after the picture, I have a very special surprise for you. No surprises. But very special wait, surprise. More importantly, more very important. special Listen. surprise. It might be something to do with him. Come with us. Hey, you got a minute there, big guy? Yeah. You sure? I do. Oh, am I supposed to stop on screen? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them to you so we can get your uh, your big guy behind you. So I was saying before about what we have had over the past number of years, um, this amazing work of art, and I said that that it is from an artist that works in a unique medium, which is balloons, 
His name is John Reed, and that's the guy right here. You are the master. Is there like a title like master balloonist? A uh, professional goof off. Is what professional goof off. Yeah. Okay. Six years of college, and I've decided to do this instead. So my parents are of course thrilled. Do you have like a diploma? Do they give you like a medal? Is it a, uh, a no. A uh, I, I mean, I have a, 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 I have a degree. Okay. Uh, it's in an envelope. It's in a completely different field. Uh, Did you print it out yourself? Too? No, actually, they mailed it to me, and I never took it out of the envelope. I gave it to my mother. I, I decided I wanted to do this. Wait, wait. Okay, so I know the story. What did you study? Like, what is your degree? Uh, architecture. Well, you are an architect, like George Costanza. You're like a, an equally. Good. I got a, a six credit shot in my architecture degree. I went back out a degree in liberal arts, uh, and I never looked back. So, tell us the process of this stuff. First of all, how long have you been doing this? Um, tomorrow will be a week. Okay. You would never know. Uh, a little over 20 years. And you, and I was saying this before, you're not just a guy like playing with balloons in his basement. Like you've done White House, you've done, tell them a little bit about some of the things you've done. Uh, my, my claims to fame, I was on Martha Stewart's show, I've done the White House six times. And uh, I have two Guinness World Records. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, yeah, Poptimus Prime, which is the world's largest balloon sculpture made by a single person, and now it's in a new book. It's in the Blockbuster edition in 2016. It's the world's largest transformer made out of balloons. He's uh, 50 feet, 8 inches tall. He was so big that we couldn't stand him upright in the convention center. And I saw the picture, yeah. This one has holes in it holding it up. That one was actually completely uh, balloons. No kidding. Was he like kneeling? He was kneeling, yeah, because uh, even at the kneeling position, he was 37. Yeah. How long did it take you to put something like that together? That was 41 hours over the course of 40 days. This guy, we ran into some issues with, uh, we had to do it on the concrete side originally. We had to clean out the last year, it wasn't enough. And we had to do it about an hour and a half to fix it all the top. That's crazy. So, how long did it take you to put it together? Uh, in the end, this was probably about seven and a half, eight hours of the time. And if you had to ballpark the number of balloons it takes to make a, how tall is it? How many how many balloons does it take to make a 15 foot? Drop? If I had to estimate, I'd say about 750. Oh, your lungs must be exhausted. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I'd take this car. And uh, you have a little something else special that we haven't revealed yet. Coming, uh, uh, we're going to be working on it. My hope is to be done within six hours. Wow. So hopefully by 4 p.m. You know, that's that's what I'm going for. Okay. But uh, yeah, we've not given anything away. Right? Okay, nothing. Oh, this is so... Here, hold on. Right, there, right, okay. no, okay. <laughs> that's awesome, right? Oh, look at that. We'll do this again. Uh, we're going to put it. Uh, you ready? Yeah. This is uh, John and Lou, fist bump take two. <laughs> Thank you. La 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 la. La 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 la. Say what? So when you guys use the hashtag D23 Expo Live, it'll actually show up on our screen here. So if you want to share it out, it will show up. Yeah. 
photos for, the photos and videos for, and that's what Matt, that's what Matt knows to do that work for him. So I'll put the inside photos and helping me out, but yeah, I don't think they really work for this. Is, I'm just going to put it on like an observation time, so let's just see what's going on.
I'm gonna sit down with it, yeah. So you have to that. Howdy, oh my. It's way too close. Come over here. Good. Oh, nice. What's up, dog? Hi. You want me to sign to grab me for? I'll pretend I'm. What time is your panel? Uh, it's starting at 12.30. You better go soon because it's like 11.30, so I would go find out yeah. sooner rather than later. Take your, uh, take your mama and, uh, hi there. Amy's wife, Lauren. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, well, that was all me, sorry. I'm a mess. Fun. Mm -hmm. I remember Jared, my oldest son. Yeah, man, how are you? Jamie made into legend, so he's that legend. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah tell him to come by later on. I will, no, he will, definitely. I saw on, on Facebook or Twitter that he was coming. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, good, yeah, I'd love to see him. Yeah, he was excited. They, uh, um, Four o'clock this morning, they started in line. Yeah, I know so, it's crazy. So, yeah. If you think if you think today's not wait till tomorrow, yeah. wait till tomorrow. Yeah. So that's great. Good. Well, yeah, please come by. Have them come by and say hi later on. Awesome. Hi there, box people. We've. Uh, I thought it was like four o'clock in the afternoon because it's been such a crazy, busy, fun day so far. Um, this is awesome. Thanks to all of you who've been watching since the beginning. More importantly, thanks to all of you who have been sharing on uh, on Facebook or social. Do me a favor if you can tweet out too, uh, or Facebook share. Make sure you use the hashtag D23 Expo Live and direct people where to come. Uh, Hal, Keith, what's going on? Keith, I understand that you made a, uh, a graphic this morning. The We Wants the Redhead graphic. What? I, well, I know, relax. <laughs> Becky's sassing me again. No, She's so box. sassy. No, you cannot have the box. You, box you are. You want to come out of the box and go into the box? Well, I guess I can today. Hey, how are you? What's your name? Hey, Tony. Tony, where are you from? Uh, Irvine. Nice. Okay, so not that long of a drive for you. No, but so, we want to move to Florida. So, <laughs> you should move to Florida. But the humidity. No. I, I know. So, wait, are you the orange bird? Uh, no, I'm with the orange bird. Come here, orange bird. You're on the air. Hi, how are you? Hi. Very nice to see you. What's your name? Mary. Mary. First expo? No, no. No, we've been here. Okay. Heavy expo. Oh, that's what we didn't go to was the destination down. Okay. So what do you guys think so far? They're doing pretty good. Yeah. We've been here since 7 o'clock last night. Wow. <laughs> did you, now, were you inside here? Did you sleep yes. out inside? Yes. I heard they had movies and snacks and yes. all that kind of they stuff. They did. They did very good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Guys. Which is good. It gets you out of the. Yeah. I know. Not that it was bad weather outside. I'm excited to be inside. Right. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, what are you most excited to see? Uh, you. Oh, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to give you something for that, whether you meant it or not. Um, you said other come than by. <laughs> I did, and I meant it. I so. saw you live. You said come by, so I'm going. We were going to see him. You know? <laughs> what about uh, anything on the floor, any panels, any presentations? Um, actually, the um, Oswald the Rabbit, okay. the, the Lost uh, Cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like it should be a, a very good show. Yeah, and that's what I love. I think there's something here for everybody, yeah. no matter what it is that you're into, whether it's the new stuff, the older stuff. Right. Yeah, I love uh, Oswald. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I love these, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Because we don't have orange bird out here in California, unfortunately. Only in Florida. <laughs> Only in Florida. <laughs> One more reason to make the move out, or at least come out and visit. Yes. <laughs> well, it's good meeting you. Hey, you too. Thank All you right. so much for coming by. Thank you. Here, here so wait, I gotta give you something. Alright. So you like a CD or a pop socket? Uh, oh. I want that. There we go. <laughs> See how it's done? You just Thank grab you it. So much. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? You just Grab the box and walk away with the box. <laughs> what did I tell you about people. Becky talking to the box? What? Don't leave her. Don't leave Becky. Look, even Andrew thinks it's funny. Don't leave Becky unattended. Don't tell me there's, I can't speak. There's to the so box. much I can tell you about oh, about so the back tell. the backstory of you in the last couple of days. Me, cool as the other side of the pillow, baby. Oh, really? Right. This has been this has been good. It's actually been fun. It's been fun. Go play. Just stop you? pushing no, me. Go, 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 go. The talent is to go talk to his fans. <laughs> I'm going about to. Um, as soon as, so guys, can you guys help me? Yeah. Say, see this table? Yeah. Can we move it around? Don't Absolutely. hit his stuff. Move it over in that corner. Thank you. So, it's you and me, kid. Uh, no, don't hit any of the balloons in the way. Thank you. So, oh, me. 
And you. Really it should be the two. It's a two shot. Just, just, just lean in. <laughs> I so, do better behind the camera. Not well, no, it's actually fun to have you in front of the camera so that people can see you. Go bring the box to Andrew. He hasn't said hi. Oh, then you have to go say hi. Andrew. Yep. So if you use the hashtag, it'll show up on our Twitter wall. Which will be well, it's, it's not a social media one. Oh, okay. It's just a, a discussion board. Oh, I think you uh, like this. Yeah, yeah, no, this is, this is, this is the, the Motley Fool is an investment. Oh, no, I just thought I thought you were going to tweet it to them. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, a number of the services recommend Disney yeah. as an investment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I call on the company and you know, post news about it, cover earnings and things like that. Fox is saying hello. Hey, Fox. Nice place over there. <laughs> I was hoping to get with you the on the, uh, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know it. <laughs> 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 it's way too humid in this room. It doesn't help that my girlfriend... Oh, you're just jealous. Oh. You're just jealous. <laughs> and uh, she didn't decide until early June that she wanted to do a cruise. Uh, and then she decided she wanted to do three cruises over the next three years. I was like, I don't have that much money. She's taking a picture. So we may, still do it, yeah, we may still do it in August of uh, next year. Uh, it's a beautiful thing coming up with it. It's a beautiful stuff. It's, it's like $2 cheaper. Have fun. Yeah. Uh, it's much fun as it would be. Yeah, it's, um, it's just a beautiful destination. So I actually just got in. So he's doing a live build. Uh, I don't know what it is, who it is. But uh, I appreciate your guys' guesses because I've been trying to figure it out. Well, I have to replace a my engineer. When I left my job last summer, they shipped my personal but they didn't bother me. And so my Disney was. So I don't know what the box or the the live bill is. But you know what? It's the cool part. Is it? Yeah, I was on the to look at your group, Chewbacca. Yeah. 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 So, what could possibly complement yeah. the whole D23 live scenario, right? Yeah. So, as long as I'm coming after you, know, why not? And by the way, the they do know the hashtag, right? We got the yeah. hashtag yep. on here. D23 so, Expo Live. I'm not seeing, we need more. We need, we need more box people posting things, don't we? Yep. So, so, question for the box, since they're all in there. What are you most excited for about tomorrow's Parks and Resorts announcements? There's a lot of rumors out there, right? There's a lot of people saying that this is going to happen or not going to happen. What is it you were looking forward to most? What rumor do you hope is true? Yeah, takes a little while. Epcot, Epcot editions. Hmm? Epcot editions. Now, see, I think Epcot is really overdue. It, it is. It's about time. And there's so much space there. There's so many um, venues that could be better utilized. I think that we'll probably see, and I know, don't get mad at me when I say this, we'll probably see the new Illuminations sooner rather than later, because it's been, how many years has Illuminations been going, Corey? At least 2,000, before, so yeah, 99. It's been going for a while, so I'm suspecting that we're going to get some sort of new Illuminations, which I think is exciting. I mean, I love the shows, but I love to see new stuff, too. I get excited about the new stuff that's coming along, so. Tron. A uh, new name for Hollywood Studios. What do you think the new name should be? That's a hard one. Well, uh, Hollywood Adventure would be a, kind of a nice play on California Adventure. Right. But it's hard because Hollywood Studios was always the Hollywood that was, and California Adventure was kind of the idea of what it was always. Right. So and look what's going to be how there do you now. Play on so it now. think about all the new things that are opening things. Toy Story, and then you still do have Buena Vista Avenue, you still have Tower Terror, you still have um, you know, now the, the Star Wars area. What, 
what else is coming in there and what type of name could you associate with it that's going to really represent all the IP that's located in the land. There's a couple of funny ones in there, I don't know if I should say. <laughs> Is it, but are there ones that we need to kick people out for? Or no. darn. No, I mean I'm kidding. It's totally like... kidding. Totally kidding. Uh Disney Acquisition Land. Disney Acquisition. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Um they are pretty much acquiring all of our childhood. That's Muppets is over there. Think about that. I mean yeah, it's true. they just add a little marble in that area, then what are we gonna get? So another thing too about Disneyland, and I know that a lot of you aren't George Way, but it's um, it's interesting because we don't know where. Because for a while we really thought that it was going to be in that area where Superstar Limo was and um, uh, Monsters Inc. is now. But somebody else then said it's going to be south of the Tower of Terror, which there's still there's room there to build something. And is a Bugs Land going to stay? Is that going to be something? Because that's a lot of real estate that they have in that area. That is, I mean, it's utilized, but that could probably be utilized so much better. Because part of the problem is you have um, Guardians of the Galaxy. And then you have a theater with Frozen, and then you have Marvel again. So you do have that breakup of theme. So it would make sense if they moved it that direction. So do you think if they change Marvel out, do we lose Frozen? I don't think we'll lose Frozen. Yeah, uh, I think that that theater, because you're not going to tear down that theater. Right. And that's the only place can really accommodate that type of show at this point. So, and you can't really break up the Guardians of the Galaxy from what's happening from Marvel. So I can see the rumor possibly being true of that whole Marvel land being in Back that there. Bugs area rather than so it, it does have that consistent flow. But who knows what we're going to hear. Which makes it even more exciting because some of the rumors make it um, extremely plausible and some others that are like, that makes total sense. And then they're going to say, no, that's not the direction they're going. So it's exciting in a way because there's so many possibilities for the exact same thing. So, yeah. yeah. You're saying, uh, what new country do you think will, will be at? Do you, do you think we get one, and then yeah. what is it? I think we're going to get one. Um, there's still so much real estate in around the um, around the lake. I have a feeling that we'll see one, if not two, countries. Really? Yeah. Um, uh, there's been, of course, a lot of speculation about Brazil, yeah. which would make sense because they do have a lot of Latin America um, visitors, as we all know. And that would be a natural. Do you think? All right. So you add a new country. Uh, it would make sense to add an attraction to go with. So, do you do you have a, an attraction to go in Brazil, or is there another country that lends itself something like Spain? See, that's a really great question, isn't it? Because it's it was never really meant to be about an attraction. It was right. meant to be about showcasing the, um, the country and the history of the country and the people from that country and the culture. So some of them did lend to a to an attraction, others just didn't. You know, let me think about Japan. You don't really have an attraction there, but yet it's one of the favorite places to go because you do have the history piece you can go and see. Um, the store is almost an attraction itself because you have all of the um, all the goodies that you're going to see only in Japan, or when you're in a store like that, or the candy meat, the things that are from that country, the drums. Um, so you, you don't really necessarily need an attraction to really show off the country yeah. itself. That's a good point. However, it would be really cool to have Australia and then have koala bears everywhere. Just you know, <laughs> have koala bears dropping from the trees onto people. They're saying even just like a river attraction through Brazil. Yeah, be kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it doesn't have to have like an IP like Coco or something assigned to it. Right. I think an attraction based exactly. on the country would be great. Exactly. So it really is all about the country at that point. It's, but I, um, it's about if that's the direction they continue to go, because Epcot was always meant to be a a, a a world expo in one location that never moved, rather than being every four years in different places. And that was all about showcasing the countries, which was about tourism to get people to go to those locations. So if they keep along that theming, um, there was some good uh, um, controversial conversations about when Frozen came into that location, did that take away from Norway? 
Some people will say, absolutely it did. Others are going to say, no, because it's actually driving a lot of tourism to Norway right now. Norway is one of the, it's like number four right now in tourism, where believe it or not, Iceland is the number one place for tourism outside of the U.S. right now. Iceland. So that's why you see Adventures by Disney. There are a ton of people. And those Iceland trips, gone. They sold out like that. Um, Iceland became the place to go. So when Frozen came out and all of the little kids wanted to see Frozen and all their parents then were introduced to Norway, where'd they want to go? Norway. So it's been amazing how quickly people have just gone to that location. Stan, uh, Stan Solo put, just look at the Canada Pavilion. No attraction and boring entertainment, just like Canada. <laughs> Hey, he, he, well, can I know. he can say that. He's from he Canada. Said, oh, yeah, you know what? Food. <laughs> Being from America, I I would take a little boring right now from a country. <laughs> I, I, oh, that's Canada. one of the reasons why I really appreciate Canada. You've got one of the most beautiful countries on this planet, and it's it's very welcoming to be there. And I think that between the maple syrup, it, which yes, by the way, we have chugged those things down from a sip mm. and snack. I don't suggest that. Um, but the Canada's well represented there as well. So they're saying, what about Russia? But I think I think you have to be careful with with a country where there's something more than just the country to talk about, their politics and things like that. Mm -hmm. For something like Disney to make a, uh, a pavilion out of it, right. it would have to be completely objective, and you'd also have to convince your guests that it's objective. And would you want to put the effort in for a country like Russia where something could be gained? Or do you go to a, a completely different place like Brazil or Spain where you don't really have that stuff and you just celebrate the good there? Honestly, I would really hope that, um, uh oh, we'll answer that question later. Alright, so say hi to those people. It's my buddy Gideon and Doobie, Doobie Mosley from LaughingPlace.com. I love this game. Let's play it again. We're playing the one word Disney game where you have to give one word and you have to try and guess the attraction. So I went I went mountain and you said Matterhorn on the nose. Now you give me one. Kidding. I didn't mean that. What I really meant to say was that it's Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. No, because if I that was I've been joking if I said that. <laughs> bang. Okay, if I'm, if I'm bang in Disneyland, help. Um, uh, give me another hint. Yeah. I I think at this game. I'm awful. Um, are there anybody in the box help me out? Fireworks. Fireworks? Is it fireworks? No. No. Frontierland. Okay, okay. Frontierland. It's Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Yeah. Up top. <laughs> nice. You're good, man. You're good. You should probably have a ticket book or something. We're going to start quizzes on our site. I was going to say, that's a good thing. I think we're up and down the back. <laughs> so, um, so come here, I got that for you. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, he's giving me something. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, uh, 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 like uh, 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 u
So the answer was a uh, big thunder mountain. <laughs> Look at your first guest. You know why I like it? Because the guy's name is Lewis. It's my name. And it makes me laugh and it makes me cry. You know, it's a very deep emotional drama of that. <laughs> Besides, do you like any superheroes? <laughs> no? Have you seen have you seen Spider Man? Have you seen Captain America? Have you seen Moana? Do you like Moana? I like Moana a lot. What is your favorite ride at Disney? Favorite ride at Disney Land is Sunland Attractions. You like dig that ride a lot. Um, oh, is there, do you like it? <laughs> I mean, might as well ask him. Is there any place you like to eat in Disneyland? <laughs> so let's think. Do you like Bengal barbecue? Hungry Bear? I love, I love, I like Bear. <laughs> right? You got excited when I said Hungry Bear. Are you excited about Star Wars now? Yeah. <laughs> Your dad's pretty excited. He's jumping up like he's jumping up and down doing this. Um, did you see the Star Wars model? Wait until you see Corey. This is Corey. He was crying when he saw it. He was weeping like a little eight-year-old girl. Right? Eight and a half. Eight and a yeah. half. He's a huge Star Wars nerd. See that blue guy right there? You ever seen uh, uh, Return of the Jedi? No? There's a guy in Return of the Jedi that's just like that guy. And he's sitting on he's sitting on top of a big fat guy that looks a lot like me. Laugh at that. Laugh at that. Justine is having a tough time. Justine is getting something special. A special prize just for you. So the, uh, the, mic, the mic that he's got on, the lab mic, is for something else. And the, uh, the other setup is not right now. We actually have to do a sound check for our first, uh, our first actual guest. Come up here in about 15 minutes. You're great. Do you like school? Yeah. What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is language arts. So, if you could be, let's see, you know what this thing is right here? You ever, you ever see the Empire Strikes Back? No. Hey, dude. <laughs> I, this kid's never seen Empire Strikes Back. What? He just, he's never even liked Star Wars what? yet. That's not his, his choice. It's your choice. It's your. It's a fault. We tried. You know what we did? The first one we showed him was Revenge of the Sith. Oh, that's your problem right there. <laughs> that was a mistake. Listen, listen. 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 We're going to sit down and we're going to get some pizza and some chicken wings and some popcorn and we'll watch the original trilogy just the way God and George Lucas intended. <laughs> right? Is that cool? Is it different? It's better. Does that sound good? Star Wars with Luke? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I trust you. I tell you something. Yeah, I, I'm aware of the microphone. Uh, I will keep trying to position it. There's a couple tricks I've got to. And by the way, I have, I have all the cosplay. I've never. Hey, Barbie, that's the most awesome cosplay I've seen all day. Can you, can you, You've got the whole like moves down. I knew I should have worn my Ken out for today. Can you not do that? I don't know which choice is best, so I believe it ought to be. Have you ever seen that? Why you are the you are. So you see, I remember the Barbie from Twitch Story? That's what she's dressed up as. There was all kinds of people dressed up as like Disney characters. Yeah, stop that. Out of my hotel room. So this is for you. You want to know what it is? Do you want, do you want this or the secret prize? You're good, Kitty. Or whatever that is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you see, Dad just walked by. I don't really have a secret prize, so you get that. <laughs> now, you you and I have the same set of problems. 
most of the clothes that we have are too big for us, but someday it'll eventually grow into that. And if it's okay with your dad, if it's okay with your dad, you can wear this shirt. I mean, you can wear it like a moo, -moo but you can wear it like a moo, -moo. Is that cool? That is yeah. awesome. What do you say? All right, brother. Thank you. Come here, give me a hug, man. It was very nice meeting you. All right? We keep in touch. You're welcome here anytime all weekend. You see something cool, you come back and you let us know, right? Okay. You're like my, the reporter on the scene. I don't, you know, you can help us both out. How's that? Good. All right? Cool? All right, man. He's a cool kid. And finally, somebody in the booth that I'm taller than, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Yes. Why do you, you say it that way? I get nervous. Are you showing that the everybody This is not going to end well for me. I'm team Wait, where are my glasses? <laughs> This is what happens when I'm in. Everybody else is doing the hugs and the shakes and this is what happens. Look, so, so she's strangling I'm, me. I'm still trying. She's still stings. No, she's, I'm look, trying. Becky is strangling me. I'm, I'm trying to get over it still. It's been a couple of years. It's still fresh. Get on team But, you know. <laughs> so, I had to show her. I have to tell her that I know. Okay. She's choking me. I think you because I lost. I think you managed to do what you did to my life. I think you did what you did to my life. I think you did what you did to my life. That's the word. That's, that's the word. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. What time are they being here? Not to me. <laughs> oh my, how awkward was that? <laughs> I didn't see you um, behind we have, her. We have three chairs that are in the mic. But I'm going to bring them in. We have two mics? Uh, yes, Dan, I have the oh, iOcker for you. Yeah. Where are you going to yes. We have a couple different setups. No, I have to just put the other one in the top. Yes, they are. <laughs> they must have seen it sitting in the box. They put it in the box. You know. So we have the receiver, we just don't have the mic. So you get they can pass one. Yeah. Or two can draw and one can pass one. Right. Okay. So tell let's tell these guys. I'm gonna get this set. Okay. So we are going to take a quick break. We're gonna switch on over to the other camera so Corey can do all kinds of cool, fun stuff in the background. But we have some very special guests who are coming into the booth to share some yes, they're here already. We're gonna let them get set up. We're gonna give you time to go potty and hopefully grab a snack. We'll be back in two and two with Corey and the box. See you Real in a minute. Don't forget, share. Share, share, share. Detroit the Expo Live. Bye. Bye, guys. See you in a minute.